the earth Who compares to the glory Of a Savior, the King of love Who gave all dying for me Your ways I don't understand You're completely other To all else that I've seen and compared To you God I've wondered I will sing my song Tell you God that
giant dusty load And I'm crying out for more I know I can trust in your love and In the darkness in the night When I'm starving for the light I know I can trust in your love You keep You keep no record of my sin No, you don't you don't remember all my shame oh, oh, oh. Your love fills every disease Your love fulfills my every need Your love is everything to me Your love is everything Your love fills every disease Your love fulfills my every need Your love is everything to me And I'm crying out for more Well, I know I can trust in your love And in the darkness in the night When I'm starving for the light Well, I know I can trust in your love You keep, you keep no record of my sin Forget your promises. I will not forget. I won't forget your love. I will not forget. Nothing is impossible. I will not forget. I won't forget your love. I will not. I will not forget. I won't forget your promises. I will not forget. I won't forget your love. Yeah. Your love fulfills my every need Your love is everything to me Your love is everything Your love fills every disease Your love fulfills my every need Your love is everything Oh yeah, your love, yeah Your love fills every disease Your love fulfills my every need Your love is everything to me Your love is everything Your love fills every disease your love fills my every need Your love is everything to me Your love is everything I will not forget I won't forget your promises I will not forget I won't forget your love I will not forget Nothing is impossible I will not forget I won't forget your love, I will not, I will not forget Won't forget your promises, I will not forget I won't forget your love, I will not forget Nothing is impossible, I will not forget I won't forget your love, I won't forget your kindness and I won't forget your faithfulness I won't forget your provision for me That you're there when I'm in need Oh, and I won't forget your kindness And I won't forget your kindness I won't forget your kindness I won't forget you, Jesus, yeah I won't forget your kindness I won't forget you I won't forget you. 
Good afternoon to all of you here. Welcome to our service, uh, Catch the Fire Toronto East. Uh, my name is Sean. This is my wife, Rachel. Um, I worked on remembering to introduce myself because I usually forget. And I wanted, because of that, I wanted you to, uh, whether it's in the chat or here, just to say your name. Just to say your name out loud right now. So Sean and all, well, exactly. Say your name out loud. And in the chat, you can write down your name. Uh, all at once, not one at a time, we're not at school. Um, you can write your name in the chat um, because I think there's value in introducing and people knowing you by name because our Father knows you by name. And I want, I want that to kind of sit with you. The God who spoke our, our world into existence, our God who is in constant conversation, uh, knows you by your name, not, oh, I know the men, I know the women, I know the adults, I know the children. He knows you uh, by your name. And if we can know each other by our name, we join in with him in uh, fostering community. Uh, and that, that intimacy, when you know someone's name, you, you, that's the beginning of getting to know them. Uh, so we, uh, we value we value those um, who are joining us online. Uh, and we want to continue to get to know uh, those who call Catch a Fire Toronto East home. And we want to get to know you by name, uh, not just uh, when you pass us by. So we give you thanks. We give God thanks. Um, and I'll just pray to open our service right now. So, Father, we thank you that you know us by name. And we thank you that you invite us uh, into relationship with you. And we give you this service uh, this, this afternoon and, and this morning when it's playing online uh, because we know you're at work and we want to see you at work. So we give you this service because this is a time for worship of who you are in our lives. And we thank you for how you've been at work this week. We thank you for the message. We thank you for the worship that's forthcoming. And we thank you that uh, today uh, we will just know you even more than we did uh, yesterday. So we thank you, Father, that you want to, us to get to know you more. You desire to get, a, to get to know. I'm getting confused. But you know what I don't know right now. You know it. So I give you thanks, Father, for who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just want to invite everybody that could stand, can stand and worship. 
people that are watching online, I just welcome you just to stand if you are able to stand, move around, grab a flag if you have to grab. But let's just, just go, just let's go all out for God this morning. So when I'm fired up, fired on my knees, with my hands lifted high, oh God, the battle belongs to you, and every fear I Lay at your feet, I sing to the night. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. Cause when I fight, I fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. And every fear I lay at your feet, I sing to the night. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. When all I see is the battle, you see my victory. When all I see is the mountain, you see a mountain move. And as I walk to the shadows, your love surrounds me. There's nothing to fear now, for I am safe with you. If you are for me, who can be against me? For Jesus, there's nothing impossible. Shine in the 
shadows You win every battle Nothing can stand against the power of our God So when I fight, I fight on my knees With my hands lifted high Oh God, the battle belongs to you And every fear I lay at your feet I sing to the night, oh God, the battle belongs to you. And when I fight, I fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. And every fear, oh, I will lay it down. I sing to the night, oh God, the battle belongs to you. In Almighty Fortress, you go before us. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows, you win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. In Almighty Fortress, you go before us. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows. You win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. So when I fight, I fight on my knees. With my hands lifted high, oh God. Battle belongs to you and every fear. Oh, I will I lay it down. Your feet. I sing to the night. Oh, God, the battle belongs to you. When I fight, I fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh, God, the battle belongs to you and every fear. I lay at your feet. I sing to the night, oh God, the battle belongs to you. Oh, the battle belongs to you. Oh, the battle belongs to you. Yeah, the battle belongs to you. Oh, this is how we fight our battles. On my knees and lifting voices with my worship. My sword of my city. Yeah. When I will fight. See that you can do, oh God, of wonders. Your power has no end. The things you've done before, in greater measure, you will do it again. Cause there's no prison wall you can break through. Mountain you can move, all things are possible. There's no broken body you can waste, no soul that you can save, all things are possible. Arcus night, you can light it up, you can light it up. Got a revival. Let hope arise. Death is overcome. You already won. Oh God. 
some victory and now you see that forever on the throne so why should my heart feel what you defeated I would trust in you alone cause there's no present wall you can't break to no mountain you can move all things are possible there's no broken body you can raise no so that you can save no things are possible the dark is not you can light it up you can light it up God Hope arise, death is overcome. You already won. Oh, God, a revival. The darkest night, you can light it up. You can light it up. God, a revival. Let hope arise, death is overcome. You already won, oh God, a revival, God, a revival. Come awaken your people, come awaken the city, oh God, a revival, pour it out. Pour it out Every stronghold will crumble I hear the chains in the ground Oh God, a revival Pour it out, pour it out Come awaken your people Come awaken the city Oh God, a revival Pour it out, pour it out Every stronghold will crumble I hear the chains in the ground Oh God, a revival Pour it out, pour it out Come awaken your people Come awaken the city Oh God, a revival Pour it out, pour it out Every stronghold will crumble I hear the chains in the ground Oh God, a revival pour Dark is night, you can light it up, you can light it up, oh God of revival, let hope arise, death is overcome, you've already won, oh God of revival, dark is night, you can light it up. You already won, oh God, a revival. Oh, 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 oh,
every struggle will crumble. I hear the chains in the ground. Oh God, a revival pouring out. Come awake, come awake in your people. Come awake in the city. Oh God, a revival pour it out, pour it out. Every struggle will crumble. Hear the chains in the ground. Oh God, a revival, pour it out, pour it out. The talk is not, you can light it up, you can light it up. Oh God, a revival, let hope arise, and death is overcome. You already won, oh God of revival, God of revival. Come and find the flame in me. Beyond our galaxy, you are holy, holy. Universe declares your majesty. You are holy, holy. God of wonders beyond our galaxy. You are holy, holy. Universe declares your majesty. You are holy, holy. God of wonders beyond our galaxy. You are holy. declares your majesty you are holy you are holy yeah yeah just begin to lift up your love song this night yeah you are holy you are holy
rushing wind, fire of God, fall within, holy go, breathe on us, we breathe. We repent from our sin, revival embers, murdering, breath of God, fan us into flame. We need a fresh wind. Fragrance of heaven, pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out. Yeah. Hearts that bones with holy fear. Purified faith and deed, refine as far, strengthen what we may. So we the church will bear a line, lamb of flame, city bright, king and kingdoms come as well. We pray, we need a fresh rain, the fragrance of heaven. Pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out, holy anointing, the power of your presence. Pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out. We need a fresh man, the fragrance of heaven. Pour your spirit out. Holy anointing, the power of your presence, pour your spirit out, 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 pour your spirit out. Blowing, move upon our praise. Sons and 
wind out of sin. We can hear the wind blowing, blowing, blowing. Let all the redeemed prophesy and sing. We can hear the wind blowing, blowing, blowing. Move upon our praise.
powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. music play a little bit more. Jesus, we just, as we said earlier, you know us by name, but what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. We just thank you for who you are. We thank you for, we just, let's just stay in that posture of thanks and relationship with you, Jesus. We, we glorify you right now with every being of our lives, even what we think is not worthy, we glorify you, Father, because you're just... Lord Jesus, you're at work, making us more and more like you. We may not recognize ourselves. Uh, Maybe when we leave this place, we may not recognize ourselves. You're making us more and more like you. We're not losing who you see us as, but we are becoming more and more like you. You you give us value, Father. May we see that. May we see ourselves as you see us. We're going to transition into a time of uh, communion that Rachel is going to lead us in. Um, But I just felt, uh, just as we were praying earlier, um, to speak from the heart. And uh, just as I kind of, as as we've been worshiping and just knowing more and more who Jesus is, I believe that's what we want uh, for those who don't know Jesus. Who Jesus is in our lives, we want that for others. We want that for those who know Jesus. Um, freedom from sin and addiction. Jesus does that. Uh, Revival in the hearts of those he loves. Jesus does that. He's our healer. Jesus heals. He takes on our burdens. And he, he, things just get better. Um, He restores us. He loves us. He speaks value over us. Um, so who Jesus is in my life is what I want for those watching, those here, those who don't know him. Who Jesus is in someone else's life here, I'm sure they want that uh, for others. Um, every time we share, uh, there's given testimony over and over of who Jesus is, and that's what we want. Um, that's what we want. So I just, uh, if, uh, if you're watching or if you're here and you don't know who Jesus is, um, I'll just I'll just share a prayer that you can share. Um, you can you can you can pray in your own time or in, in, as as you're watching this. If uh, if you hear these things of who Jesus is to different people, uh, free like he gives us freedom, he heals whatever that need is that you have found has not been resolved because of what the world has to offer, and they offer a lot of things that are very temporary and don't work. If you are now saying I I I hear it, I know it, I need to encounter Jesus because he. He, what I've seen in others, I want now. If you're ready, if that's where you are, um, so I'll just lead in a prayer that you can you can share and uh, and make your own as you communicate to our God. So, uh, Lord Jesus, I just I thank you for the love you have for me as I am here today. Uh, I have I've had brokenness, I've had hurt, I've had so many things that I've tried that have not worked, Jesus. But I sense, Lord Jesus, you are the way, 
and I thank you for that love. I, I confess my sin now. I accept your forgiveness now. I pray that you would make me new, unrecognizable to the old self that I once was. And I give you thanks, Jesus, that you have never taken your eyes off me, even when I didn't know you. And I pray now that I do know you, or as I grow to know you, that I would continue to have my eyes fixed on you as they are fixed on me. I thank you that you cleanse me, and you call me, you call me home, and you call me brother, you call me sister, you call me family, and you know me my name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for who you are in my life. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So if, uh, yeah, if you, if you prayed that or if you've prayed in the weeks leading up to today or you've you made a, a declaration of faith, please let us know. Um, yeah, we, we would love to know and to, to journey with you in this. So uh, I'll uh, transition to Rachel. So we're just going to uh, take communion as we usually do every Sunday. And every Sunday we have the uh, the privilege of doing that. But what I sense to do this time around is we're just going to take some time and just ask Jesus to reveal himself to you in terms of what, what communion means. So let's just take a couple minutes and just quiet yourself and just ask, Holy Spirit, will you reveal to me? Will you show me something about communion that, that I never thought of, that I never knew about? And, and whether that's an image of what he shows you, whether it's his suffering, whether it's victory, whether it's healing. Let's just take a couple minutes and just let him speak to you. Let him speak to your heart. And as he shows you these things, just ask him, Jesus, what are you showing me? What do you want to tell me today as we take communion? And if something doesn't come right away, just keep pressing in. He's faithful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And hopefully he's shown you something. And that's the type of relationship we get to have with him. It's an interactive relationship. He gets to reveal himself over and over and over again to us. So while we're in this, this atmosphere, we're just going to continue to go ahead and take communion. And we'll start with the bread. And the scripture I'm going to read is uh, John 6, 35. It says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. So as we just take hold of the bread, Jesus, we just take hold of that promise that you are the bread of life, that you always fill us up, that, that, we are all, that you are all that we need, Jesus, in this moment, in this hour, in our lives. So Jesus, we thank you that your body was broken, that you were brutally crucified on that cross for us for our victory and even as we were singing this morning death is overcome because you have already won so jesus we declare that we declare that as we partake in the bread so we can partake Thank you, Lord. And we're going to partake in the juice, which represents his blood. And I'm just going to read from Ephesians 1.7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace. So, Jesus, we just thank you for your blood. And it's, it's an understatement to say that your blood benefits us. There's so much in your blood. There's so much power in your blood. And we thank you that your blood was spilled, not only for our sins, but for healing, for total and complete victory that we can walk in every day. We don't take that lightly, Jesus. And we thank you. Thank you that we can do this in remembrance of you. So Jesus, we thank you for your blood as we partake. So we can take the juice.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I really pray that he's, he's shown you something new about communion today. That he just keeps revealing himself to you in new and different ways. So at this time, we're just going to do some congregational prayer. And there was a couple things on our hearts to pray for. The first one being um, a new church building. So we're going to keep pressing on in prayer for that. And we're going to be faithful in that. Um, so we could just jump right in. And if you'd like, if you feel comfortable, you can stand with me. We can take, take a stand <laughs> uh, for what we're praying about. Um, and we could just declare that. Just change your posture. Get some blood flowing. <laughs> so just join us as we pray. Father, we thank you, God. Thank you that we're here and that we can already be together in this building. And Jesus, we just call forth that building, that church building that you have for us right now in the name of Jesus. And we don't come to you as orphans. We come to you as sons and daughters. And we just ask you, Father, we ask you for this building. And we know that you have good things in store for us. You've promised us so many good things. So, Lord, we just take hold of that. And we take hold of every prophetic word. And we just bring that back to remembrance. And we claim it right now in Jesus' name. And we thank you, God, and we just declare your goodness. And uh, even as we are, we're in this season of Thanksgiving, Jesus, we thank you in advance for this building. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for standing with us. And the second thing we wanted to pray for, it just kind of dropped into our hearts, was for our outreach team. So we're just going to cover them in prayer. Uh, just as the Holy Spirit's leading us. So Father, we just thank you. Thank you again for our outreach team, that you have stirred up hearts for the lost, for our communities, for our city, God. And we just ask for supernatural protection over our outreach team right now. And we thank you that you will be adding to that team, God, that you would stir up more people to just join us as we, as we reach out to our communities, to our city, God. Will you give us a bigger heart for outreach, Lord? And Father, we thank you. Thank you for everything that is planned for this year, every outreach event, everything that has been done, even last week with the signs that we had in the parking lot. Father, we know that you will honor that. And we thank you. We ask you that you would prepare hearts, prepare hearts for your good news in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for every, every department we have in our church, but especially the outreach team, God. Thank you that you are very close to them, God, and that you are drawing us all closer. So, Father, we thank you. Thank you so much. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So, thanks for praying with us. And in terms of announcement, we just, announcements, we just want to remind you, we do have Thursday night prayer. So, uh, the Zoom links, you can find that either on our Facebook page or on our website. So, we encourage you to just come and just keep praying with us. Uh, it's been a good time so far. So... At this time, we are going to announce our speaker today. So he's just coming up, and we have Kayan coming up. And he'll be sharing a powerful message with us today. So let's welcome him as he comes. Thank you. Come on. Just gonna plug this in. For my for the first time, I prepared a PowerPoint presentation for you. <laughs> so let's see if that works. And no signal. Yes, perfect. Let's pray. Thank you so much, guys, for figuring it out. We bless the technical part. Holy Spirit, would you just help in the name of Jesus. And Holy Spirit, thank you that you are always with us. And thank you that you are here right now. And again and again, we honor your presence, Holy Spirit. We honor your presence.
the couple last weeks, our pastors are talking about anointing. Especially Pastor Ramesh and Elsie, they are talking about anointing. Anointing and character, anointing and giftings. What is the anointing? Uh, where is the anointing? And they had, we had some amazing like messages. And for me personally, it impacted me so much. I was able, like, I recognized the anointing in me in a new way. And I re- started to recognize the anointing in other people. The importance of recognizing each other's anointing. So I loved these messages. And I just wanted to encourage you, those who are watching, all these messages are online on YouTube. So feel free to um, go and check them out. It will help. And just before we start the message, um, one of the things that I feel like sharing with you, even when I was uh, worshiping, it's the importance of, like again, the recognizing our spiritual fathers and mothers anointing. Like when, whenever Papa Ian comes, I, anyway, I love him so much. I love him so much. But nowadays, I love him even more like because of the things that he is treasuring. It, God treasured, God put in him, including our like, spiritual father and mother, uh, Pastor Elsie and Pastor Ramesh. They are carrying something in them. And by us recognizing it, we will receive it. I believe that is so important as a church. There's a reason. God set these guys up for me. What about you? Do you think he set them up for you? Yes. God gave them the leadership and everything. God set them up for us to receive. And I just wanted to encourage you. um, We can jump on YouTube, right? And it's amazing. Like I watch so many different sermons from Bethel and everything from Catch the Fire, the main campus. But there is something about, if you are part of this church, God is doing something different than in Bethel and other churches. And God is, yes, God will download to you and to everyone. We are one church together. But there's something about God. If you are part of Catch the Fire Toronto East, I want to encourage you. Open your hearts for what even continuously, the Holy Spirit will download and show to Pastor Ramesh, Pastor Elsie, Papa Ian. So I, let's just keep on receiving from them. And even for the times, if we didn't, you know, feel like, yeah, okay, like I can catch up later or whatever. Holy Spirit, we just repent. We honor your son and your sons and daughters. We recognize the anointing in them. The things that you put in them. We recognize and we honor that in the name of Jesus. So, and this morning, I wanted to talk to you about anointing and outreach. And I would like to unpack, I have to go to the middle because the camera is here. So, I like to move around. So, I would like to unpack a dream and an open vision I had. And before we do that, let me just give you a couple points to have in back of your mind because that will help us as we unpack my dream and vision, okay? So, like we already mentioned, what is anointing? Anointing means smeared or rubbed with oil. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. You see it, right? Everyone is able to see it? So, anointing means smeared or rubbed with oil. Why are we getting anointed? I just broke it down to three points. Number one, set apart for divine use. Number two, empowered to accomplish his task. Your characteristics, your talents and giftings becoming supernatural. Your natural characteristics, your gifts and talents Becoming supernatural. Number three, protection. So I don't want to do a word study here. So we will continue. I just want you to have that in the back of your mind, okay? The next I would like to share with you is the Bible verse that Pastor Ramesh and Pastor Elsie felt like taking, to, take, to take this year. And that is Luke 4.18. And I want to encourage you, read that with me. The Spirit of the Lord, can you read that with me? 
even those who are watching, the Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Amen? Amen. Now, look at that Bible verse, okay? Look at that same Bible verse. And now, remember what we talked about, what is anointing? Smeared or smearing, means smeared on, meaning like, you know, when you smear cream on your, imagine now oil, like, Close your eyes for a moment and just imagine oil being smeared on you, okay? Or oil being rubbed on you. Can you imagine it? Now, the Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has smeared on me, because He has rubbed on me. Do you understand? The Holy Spirit is in us. The anointed, was, anointed one is in us. If you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, He's in you. But... The Spirit of the Lord is on us, on me, because He is rubbing His characteristics on me. He is rubbing on me who He is. He is rubbing and smearing it all over me. So when your talents, your gifts, the natural talents and gifts that you are playing keyboard or whatever you're doing, becoming supernatural because of he is rubbing on you and smearing on you. Amen? Isn't that a beautiful picture? I just want to make sure the Holy Spirit is not oil. He's a person. He's God. That is so important. Holy Spirit, we honor you and we repent for the times when we limited you to oil or whatever. A dove. In form of a dove he came. Oil is just the characteristics of the Holy Spirit, how he is. When he comes on you, he smears like an oil, like, like an oil. We honor you, Holy Spirit. We love you. Thank you for being with us. So now, let's unpack my dream. Are you ready? I believe this is an important dream and vision I had, okay? And... I believe this will help you, especially in the areas of outreach. Like, before I share, I just want you to know, like, I was, like, thinking about a city on the set on the hill, and I was praying about God. You know, can you show me, like, how can we make an impact in this city? How can we as a church reach out? It, my, me individually, but as a church, can you give us strategies? Can you show us what to do? And this is what I saw. I saw it multiple times. And once especially, like that's why I believe this is an important message for me. And I release that over you. If you want, receive it. And if you want, make some notes for you. So I saw a hill. In my dream, I saw a hill. And on that hill, there was a rainbow. Rainbow with seven colors. And suddenly, that rainbow turned into circles. And this rainbow on top of the hill was already beautiful, okay? It was beautiful with all these different, seven different colors. Suddenly, oil came from heaven. And all these colors started to radiate. It was beautiful. And it was amazing. And I felt the Holy Spirit say... The seventh circle of influence, I put outreach here because this has to do all, everything has to do with outreach. The seven circles of outreach, the seventh circle of influence. So now, some of you may be watching or even here, you just accepted Jesus into your life. What is this guy talking about outreach? What is this guy talking about seventh circle? What is going on? We believe that Jesus is the only way. We believe that Jesus is the only way and you have only eternal life when you accept Jesus into your life. Otherwise, you won't have eternal life. Your sins won't be forgiven. You won't experience real peace and real hope and real joy. And that's why as a church, we care for you. God loves you. God cares for you. And we as a church, we are trying to, uh, trying to figure out, God, how can we give out to these people out there what we received? And 
if you're watching, we don't, we are still trying to figure it out and the Holy Spirit is helping us more and more. And this is what it's all about, especially for those who accepted Jesus freshly, just to explain to you. And I'm telling you again, Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. So let's come back to the point. So now, okay, now what? You have seven circles of influence, now what? So I just want to imagine, like I want you to think that whatever I'm talking about, it's for you personally, for me personally, but as a church as well. Okay? So now let's go, let's unpack the circles. The first circle. The first circle of influence that you have is your household, your friends, your brothers, your relatives. Good? The second circle of influence are your neighbors. The third circle, your neighborhood. The fourth circle, spontaneously meeting people outside. The fifth circle, work and school. Sixth circle, city. Seventh circle, nations. So now, I didn't find the Bible verse to back it up. This is what the Bible verse is all about. And that is in Acts 1.8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. This is what the circle is all about. This is the circle of influence. If you want or not, if you are aware of it, if you are aware of it or not, you have circles of influence. Your decision is if you want to be a witness or not. Right? You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. The Holy Spirit is already in you. Bill Johnson once said, the Holy Spirit is in us for us, the Holy Spirit is on us for the others. I really like that picture. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witness. That is what that whole circle is all about, like what I just explained. And now, I would like you to write it down if you want to. If you can memorize it, memorize it. And that is helping me a lot. I'm meditating on this each circles. Now you have these circles of influence. You prayfully ask the Holy Spirit these questions. I give you three questions. One, where do I have influence right now? Sit down. Spend some time with the Holy Spirit and ask him, where do I have influence right now? Don't try to figure out something. One day I will travel around the world. You will. But it's like start with the little things that is in front of you. Where do you have influence right now? Next question. What is the need in these circles of influence? What is the need right now? Third question. Now... So now you see that you have influence in these circles. Now you see the need. Now the question is, what kind of resources do you have? And again, don't think about now I need a room full of food to feed the poor. Like we had Kelly and Justin over at our um, outreach team meeting. And they were saying they started in the kitchen with just giving out sandwiches. And now they are feeding 700 people and more. You understand? But it starts with what you have. What kind of resources do you have right now? For example, my neighbor is just a perfect good example. I have a neighbor. Where do I have, where do I have influence right now? My neighbor. One of the influences, right? Then, what is the need right now? In the winter, he has to, the, sh- the snow to be removed. And in the summertime, the grass has to be cut. Now, what, what kind of resources do I have? I have energy. I have time. And I have a machine at home. It's that simple. And then, as you do, as you do all this, I'm inviting you to come out of the box. So what, what do I mean by that? Every single one of you is in a different state of reaching out to people. Reaching out meaning loving on people. Loving on people. As you do that, I challenge you today to level up in the name of Jesus. Whatever you're doing right now, bring it to the next level. 
And then just make sure it is doable. I'm going to book a flight to Africa and you know what I mean. I don't have an example right now. But make it doable. Make it simple. And then make sure it is consistent. And then have someone you are accountable to. We have an amazing outreach team. If you want to join, we meet every Thursday. And I just wanted to, they are not here right now, but I just wanted to honor Sue, Shalane, and Jeremy. Guys, you guys are amazing. Every week they show up on Thursday nights. And we had so many things we plan, and then it doesn't work. It didn't work out, you know. And then we, it, you know, it is very disappointing, right? Like, but these guys are just faithful and joining. We, I love you guys. I honor you. I honor you. So now, good. I want to give you some points. It's good to know. I named it good to know. As you are thinking about outreach, be faithful in the little. Even if people see it or not, be faithful in the little. And it's a kingdom principle. The word of God says, if you are faithful in the little, God will trust you with more. Number two, you are qualification. Maybe some of you are not reaching out to people because, man, what when they, that guy asked me that random question and I'm not able to answer him? I'm not that prophetic. I'm not having this or that. Your qualification to love one people is love and compassion. I remember 2015, before I moved to Canada, I went on a mission trip to Romania. And you, my wife is my witness. Even after having an encounter with God and everything, I loved God, but I had a hard time to love people. I didn't really care for people. But I wanted to love people. You know what I mean? I don't know. If maybe you guys are crazy people lovers. But seriously, it, was, it bothered me. I'm like, God, I love you. And I want to care for these people. But I don't care really, if I'm honest. And I prayed this prayer before I went to Romania on a mission trip. God, teach me to love people the way you love people. I'm telling you, in these seven days, I don't know when it happened. I came back. And the people who took me can testify and my wife can testify. I developed a love for people. So your qualification is not a Bible, Bible degree or like you have to be a prophet or you have to have one million dollars in your bank account. Love and compassion. Do you have that? You are qualified. Go. Go. In that go, in that go. There is revival. Because when we do, obedience is better than sacrifice. When we do, when we go, there is a huge level of anointing and blessing, man. Therefore, go. All authority. That's, did you know that's one of the uh, Bible verses God gave to our pastor uh, when they founded this church? Matthew 28, 19. All authority in heaven and on earth is given to me. Therefore, go. And make disciples. Next point. Your life is the gospel. I didn't expect that. Your life is the gospel for others. But the point I want to say is this one. Therefore go and make them say a prayer. Therefore go and make them uh, pray a repentance prayer. Right? No. Therefore go and make disciples. That's why repentance prayer is not enough. I just want to encourage you. As we, like, uh, as we are going out, okay, now this guy accepted Jesus. Come on, hey guys, I met a person and he invited Jesus into his life. Amazing. That's just the beginning. Jesus has, didn't say go and make them pray a, uh, pray a prayer. He said go and make disciples. So connect with them. Catch up with them. And again, to the point before, your life is the gospel. Your life is what they will read. That's the Bible that they're going to read. That's the gospel that they're going to read. They're going to read your life. And you choose if you want to be the witness or not. Holy Spirit will come on you so that you can be my witness. And... Again, I mentioned that to you already. These are the prayers that I pray. Main prayer. There are 
other prayers I pray as well. But this is number one prayer that I still pray is a heart to love people the way he loves people. I want to encourage you, make notes. This is a powerful prayer. And I release that over you as you pray to experience that in the name of Jesus. And the rest two prayers is a prayer that our pastor teached me. And I added that to my prayer, especially regarding outreach. Colossians 4.3, Paul asks there, he, he writes there, pray for me that I have open opportunities, open doors that I can preach the gospel. And then in Ephesians, he says, and then pray for me that I have boldness as these doors open up. Nice door. Right? Nice door. Thank you for opening up the door, God. Nice. No. The door opens up and then we go. We go and pray for boldness. When the Holy Spirit comes up, it is in the Bible, there's a supernatural boldness available, everyone. Supernatural boldness. You are afraid of people and the Holy Spirit comes on us. Super, you see that in the Bible, the disciples, they were like afraid and sitting somewhere waiting for the Holy Spirit. Suddenly the Holy Spirit comes on them and they are like preaching the gospel and people get saved. Amen? How are you guys? Good? Impartation time. Can I ask you to stand? We don't need music. We just, I, I was just, I wanted to ask someone can play, but it's okay. We just connect with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to release. We're going to pray first for healing, and then I'm going to release to you what I received. This morning, we were on YouTube. Papa Ian, I think you were on as well. There was a, uh, someone who came and said, I have knee pain, knee pain. Please pray for me so that I can do gym again, like exercise. And we gave her our number. She connected with us. We prayed. And then we asked, so from 1 to 10, where is your pain? It's 10. No more pain. So right now, we believe in a God who heals. If you have any pain in your body, anything that is not in order, how our Father in heaven created your body to be, I would like you to place your hand on your body part, if it's appropriate. Especially sicknesses that unexpected, you never experienced something like that. Unexpected, like an unexperienced sickness and you are worried. I take off that worry off you in the name of Jesus. And in here, I speak to your body in the name of Jesus. Order and alignment. Everything in this body come into order and alignment how our Father in heaven created this body to be in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any afflicting evil spirits. Lift off in the name of Jesus right now. I rebuke pain. Leave now. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. And then check yourself. Try to do something you couldn't do before. Check yourself. Even those who are watching, check yourself. Therefore, go. Therefore, go. Therefore, go. Go. This is amazing to gather together here. We celebrate. We worship. We minister to our Father, Jesus and Holy Spirit. But then, therefore, go. 
witness. And Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you that we don't have to do it by ourselves. And just position yourself to receive. Thank you that there is a special grace. There is always grace. But thank you for that picture of the, the circle of influence being anointed. So I bless everyone here in the name of Jesus. Even those who are watching. I bless them in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. I release to you the flamethrower anointing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Apa, thank you. I release to you the healing prophetic evangelism in the name of Jesus. Re re receive. I wipe off any guilt or shame or condemnation in the name of Jesus. Right now, even in your mind, maybe you're thinking, oh man, but what I did this, I, I missed that opportunity. I wipe off guilt, shame, condemnation in the name of Jesus. Liar, psh, stop. Stop. I rebuke lies and I swipe off any guilt or shame or condemnation in the name of Jesus. And Appa, we recognize there is no other way than you. Give us a heart for the people around us. Break our hearts. There is marketplace anointing. You can be anointed and your gift is becoming supernatural and your character, like all this. It's all to reach the lost. You are being anointed in your working workplace, marketplace, so that your work can minister, feed the poor. That our, the reason why we are anointed is to set the captives free. If it's now marketplace or in the church, businesses, it's to set the captives free. And up uh, this morning or this afternoon, yes, release the sound in you. Don't be quiet. If you feel something is bubbling up, scream it out loud. And this morning, up uh, we ask, this afternoon, we ask, help us. To love people the way you love people. And Appa, we repent of like thinking even that you didn't back us up with power. Sorry, Holy Spirit. I release a fresh anointing in the name of Jesus. Fresh anointing in the name of Jesus. Teach us to walk in the anointing. For the sake of this world, for the sake of my neighbor, for the sake of my brother, for the sake of my city, of my neighborhood, my work colleagues, school friends, burn in us. This morning I woke up with a picture and the word sparkle. I release that over you in the name of Jesus. Sparkle as the Holy Spirit smears on you, rubs on you. Sparkle. Thank you for that sparkle, Holy Spirit. Light it up. Light it up in the name of Jesus.
keep on just connecting with him. I'm just a voice that is ministering to you, but you connect with him. Just let's just spend a couple minutes here. Even going out, witnessing, it's not just a good idea. It is a matter of life and death. It's a matter of life and death. Eternal life or eternal death. Same time, Holy Spirit, help us not to strive. We know we are your sons and daughters. Thank you for a revival that is coming. We are eagerly waiting to see a fresh outpouring. And we speak to the inner man. I speak to the inner man here and to those who are watching. And the inner man in these seven circles of our influence. Awake. Awake. Awake in the name of Jesus. And listen to the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope that this helped you. Come on. I just bless you to keep on receiving. But those who are watching... Feel free, right after the service, we have a Zoom hangout. Join us. Um, and otherwise, this coming afternoon, we are going to meet today when you are watching. This afternoon at 4 p.m., we are meeting in person again. And we have our pastors back. Come on. So that's going to be awesome. Um, so otherwise, have a wonderful Sunday. Uh, we bless you to receive and to be transformed. Join us Sunday morning after the stream of the service for a Zoom meeting where we just chat and hang out together. Find the link to this meeting in your e-news or at ctftorontoeast.com on the Connect During COVID page. We also gather together to pray every week on Thursday night for half an hour. Help us drive the church with prayer. Check your e-news or contact the office for the Zoom link. Our e-news, email newsletter has everything that's happening this week, as well as all the regular info you might be wondering about or looking for, including the links to all our meetings. Make sure to subscribe at the bottom of any page of our website, and then take a glance through every week on Thursday afternoon so you stay informed about what's going on. Are you interested in connecting on a personal level? We have pods and connect groups that are a fantastic way to get connected and catch a fire Toronto East. Are you interested in joining one? Send us a note at torontoeast at catchthefire.com. You can return your tithes or give offerings to Catch the Fire Toronto East through a number of different avenues. Texting a gift, the Church Centre mobile app, or online, writing a check, or making an interact e-transfer. You can find details for all of those avenues in your emails or at ctftrainerleast.com slash give. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.